Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alan and welcome back to City Skylines. In the last episode, we actually got a few tornadoes, <laughs> I'm sorry, and two sinkholes. And it seems like now we are having like a thunderstorm. Gladly, we don't really have like a huge buildings and stuff. So I feel like we should be fine. Like, honestly. I do think we should be completely fine, man. I don't see a reason why that would be wrong. Honestly. I think we need to spare some money. Because fairly soon we will be able to buy some new stuff that we need to put into our city. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what is going on with me. But the thing is, I need to expand. But I don't really want to expand on this neighborhood. Because I do believe we could have some problems with traffic. So that's what I'm wondering about right now. I'm like, is it worth it? Is it not? I mean, I feel like, I feel like we can do like one more square over here. I think we can, we are going to be completely fine if we do that. Like honestly. Maybe even do like two, you know? Yeah, we can do that. Let's take a look here, okay. Uh, okay, there we go. We can connect this over there. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm... Uh, I'm not smoking or anything. I don't know why that is going on. That is happening, you know? Like, honestly. I have no idea. Then we can come like that, alright. Yeah, we can have like two going on and then probably we can just end this neighborhood. I feel like it's time for us to do that. Especially because of traffic management and stuff. Yeah, especially because of that. Especially. Okay, uh, this side I think I will only have... Nah, let's do it over here in the middle as well. I know that I'm going to delete a few houses. Yeah, but it got, it's gotta be done. I mean, not really happy to do that to our citizens, but... Gotta be done, you know. It's gotta be done. So let's let them expand. Like that, there we go. Let's wait and see what is going to happen here. Now that we actually have... We are prepared, basically, to have some problems with tornadoes so I'm uh, actually excited for the next tornado to happen see what is going to happen because now we literally have some uh, shelters and stuff so I'm interested to see what is going to happen from there okay I can turn this one off there we go what about this guy okay 10% that one's fine. This one has 46%. It's not that fine, but it's fine. How many trucks do we have? Okay, 10 trucks. Yeah, 10 trucks, okay. Just wanted to keep like a track, you know, to know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Maybe we could even go and put some more commercial up here. Like that. There we go. Perfecto, boys. Perfecto. Now we can even have like more income. As you can see, we are in the 4,000 plus. That is pretty good. I can tell you that. Like, literally. That's pretty good, man. Not even joking. Choking. <laughs> okay, they are definitely complaining here for trash. What if... We upgrade this to a six-lane road? Like all the way over there. So we can even uh, put some more stuff over here. Uh, I mean, I feel like that should be fine. I guess, yeah. Then over here we can even just go and put like another one of these. I feel like that would should be completely fine, man. Like seriously. I see no reason why this would be a problem. 
In the future, we can even just go and have make like another exit towards that side. Yeah, that should be fine. Come on, man. We can do this. How's the new neighborhood looking? Yeah, a little bit better, which is good. Uh, let me take a look here at the milestones. Is the next one that we are going to be able to put down office? Yes. So I'm not really going to uh, put down more industry. I mean, I could, because then we need to gather some money for us to be able to put down like the. How can I say it? So I can put down. What is the name again, man? Like, jeez, man. I totally forgot. Let me just go and use this tool. So we can actually build on the side right here. Is that going to be enough? Let me take a look. Nope. <laughs> Should not have it enough. Let me use a little bit more. Come on. You can do this. Is that going to be enough? Still not enough, I don't know what is going on over there. Like honestly. I have no idea. And that is also going to increase our our um how can I say the name again? Income. There we go. We are under five thousand plus. That is definitely really good man. That's definitely really good. I can say that. Oh oh, what about this guy? How are you doing? Hey yeah, it's fine. It's completely fine man. We don't really need to worry about that. What about you? Yeah. It's, it's fine as well. Yeah, like really. Don't see a reason why we need to buy a new one. Using like one ambulance. Like just one patient last week. So it's completely fine. What about traffic right here in the middle? It's completely fine. Yep. What about here? Okay, we do have some people walking around. Which is quite nice. Where is the trash collectors? Like seriously, it's right next to the thing. Wow. Alright. That's... Unexpected. <laughs> like seriously, the thing is like right next to it. And it's you complaining about it, like, having like the trash collected. Okay, now I need to upgrade this. Because we are almost running out of water. Let's also go for this. Because we are almost running out of this. There we go. And then now we just need to... Get the money for us to get the incineration plant. Yep. That's basically what we need. How much does it cost? Uh, 30k. Okay, it's right there. We just need like the people. Start moving and stuff. That's basically what we need. We can have some more houses over here to start expanding like that. And then maybe we can actually start even to expand. Okay, we are running out of power. Should I put like another one of these? How much does it pro produces? 40. 120, but we need oil. Which is not ideal to be honest. Yeah, let's put this guy right here. We're going to produce power for us. I need to find like a better way for us to produce power. Like seriously. We definitely need to find a better way for us to produce power. Okay, this one produced 16. Uh, could be better. It was a little bit cheaper. I think this one's better then. Probably. How much does one cost? Okay. Now this one is actually more worth. We produce more power from this than actually from the windmill. Than from uh, also from the wave power plant. So it's not worth for us to have that. I don't know if they're not picking up the trash here, man. Like seriously, the trash collector is right here. There's like another one right here, another one right there. I don't know why they're not picking up. <laughs> like honestly, where are they? Okay, we have some here. Okay, he just went through. 
And now it got abandoned. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, let's put some more houses over here. Because we do have the demand. And we need to reach 8,000 citizens. So we can actually start putting down like some other big stuff. We also need money for us to put down this. Which costs 24,000. We would do have the money. Should we go for faculty first? Or incineration plant? I feel like incineration plant is what we need now. Yeah. I do think it's, it's the best idea here. Okay. We are about to hit 8,000. Like, we are not too far away from that. Come on, boys. You can do this. I believe in you. Like, honestly, I do. I think I can have some more commercial up here. Which I think we should be fine. Uh, yeah, let's put uh, all the way over here. So we can also have a little bit more demand as well. Come on, boys. You can do this. We probably also need, like, another far station yeah we could I mean we do have like one right there and one over there one over there and one up here okay they're coming the house should be fine oh wait okay they are going to go around <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> Alright, I don't know if the houses will be fine anymore. They're going to take a while for them to get here. The house is lo not looking good. Come on, boys. You can do this. You can do this. And now he's also complaining about police. Come on. It's going to be close. They are here. Uh, you saw that? It was throwing the water on the bush. <laughs> Anyways, we got the 8,000 citizens. Now we can buy some more land. We can have metro stations, which is good, but it's a, a little bit expensive for now. We can have the equation boost. Okay, we have some pretty cool stuff. We definitely have some pretty cool stuff. Look at this. All right. Let me take a look here. So I think first thing that I'm going to put down is the faculty. I feel like this is what we need, like right now, you know, let me take a look. I mean, we can put down this up here if we want to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put this over there. Then we can also have the incineration plant, which we can put right here. There we go. Yeah, that's much, much better for us to have that. I prefer incineration plant. 10 times more than actually this landfill site, because seriously, landfill sites, it just make, it doesn't make sense, because we are going to, oh, what? What is going on with the water here? Like, seriously, the water on this map, it's so weird. Hey, clock, what's up? Oh, one of the scenario maps I see, I was working on the same one for like, 13 hours straight last night on my stream. Oh, he also does it in your map. Because seriously, look at that. That is so dumb. <laughs> the water is so weird, man. What the heck? They need to fix this. Look at this. Now the water is like, like all over the place. I tried to put this to help us out a little bit. But seems like we will need to put down um, this guy, probably. Oh, thanks for following, uh, Big Urn McCracking. Mac Alright, that's a different name. Maybe we will need to put this down over here to protect this area. I mean, probably. Or maybe we could even go for this one. This also works. The deep kennel. That definitely works. Okay, let's take a look. What else do we need here? Oh, first, let's come over here. Let's go for education boost. Yeah, we definitely need this. 
And then we can go for recycling. We don't really have free public transport, so that doesn't really change much. I think for now that's about it. Uh, any of the shelters in policy are reserved for the citizens living in the area. I don't know. For now, I don't believe it's the best. Maybe in the future it is going to be the best, but for not, not right now. Then I will also need this because we are going to start now putting down some high density buildings. I mean, maybe not over here. Maybe in like in another um, neighborhood, or maybe we can start slowly substituting. You know, like the low residential zone to a high density zone. Which is also, I think it should be completely fine. Oh, look at this. So nice to see all of this, man. I'm also going to slowly start, like, substituting the industrial office. Because, I don't know, man. No, no, but I build a really be a interchange on it to support industry cell and it works too good oh really nice i mean industry it's it's pretty good it helps us out to decrease the traffic for our goods and stuff because you then you don't need to import all of them but you need to do like a really really well like road design for not to have traffic problems with the trucks i show you a video in a minute okay so now we have like a two, how can I say, uh, office. The first one's in our city, which I find pretty cool. Will they actually have people working? I don't know. Hopefully. Let me take a look here at how many people we have. Okay, now highly educated people. We have well educated, which is pretty good. Let me take a look here. Okay, we let's start putting down some high density buildings here. Why not? So then we can actually start slowly changing to high density zones, you know? Because if you want to reach 150,000 citizens, we definitely don't want to have like low density zones. I mean, we do have like a, a really big land. Look at this, this is massive. Really plain as well, so it makes it a little bit easier for it to build. Which is pretty cool. Uh, let me take a look here on the incineration plant. Okay, it's it's doing, it's doing okay. Yeah. We might need to pull like another one. Yeah, we definitely need to pull out like another one. For us to be able to cover like everything, single thing. Okay, let's pull on like another one. So, cause, so then we can slowly start like not using these landfills and stuff. Yeah, we are still pretty far away from it, but <laughs> I think we should be fine. I was also thinking about these heli helicopters depots. They're pretty cool. I think it's definitely a lot better than using like fire stations and stuff. Because then you don't need to have like, tr uh, the trucks doesn't need to face the roads, you know, they can go directly to the fire. What do you think, Locke? Do you think the fire helicopter depot is better than using fire stations? I believe it, I believe it is, man. Okay, this is for meteors, but I don't believe meteors strike this city. Helicopters, helicopters OP. Yeah, I do believe it is. Okay, we also definitely need this, to be honest. But it's 25k. <laughs> definitely not going to put that right now. Definitely not. How much is this? Okay, 9k. We do also have our police. 95. That is pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We also might need some more parks. Let's put some cat parks over here. Yeah, this is a modded building. Ah, uh, modded. A uh, modded building. So it's also going to increase the length. Look at that. 
that's 10 times better. Which is great. As I also have like another one up here. There we go. That's much, much better. Let me even expand a little bit more of these buildings right here. Yeah, let's go like this. That should be enough for now. What do you guys think I should do now? I mean, we don't really have a lot of money. We have 20 at 12,000. They did nerf my skate parks. Skate parks? What do you mean? What, hap what happened? Just got destroyed, but, but because of what? Okay, we do need a police headquarters. We only have one on the entire city. It's probably working like a lot. Let me take a look here. Yeah, it's using like all the cars. So we definitely need like another police station. I mean, it's pretty cheap. I could definitely put it if I wanted. Put like a one here. Let me take a look here if I can take like a letter. Uh, yeah, let's pay this one and then let's take this one. I could even take this one if I wanted to. No, but nah, let's take like this. Then I can t build like the bigger one, which you can put down right there. They should be able to protect the entire city. Like, honestly, let's take a look. Yeah, I can have deploy like 17 cars. I think it should be enough, right? Yeah, I do think it, uh, it is going to be enough. It's been a long time that we don't get struck by a tornado and also a sinkhole. It's been a long time. I could... Wait a second. How much is... This little guy? Okay. I think I might want to put this guy down. So it's definitely going to help us out to... Protect against like sinkholes, which is good, and this and this actually covers this entire city. Skate parks used to have a large, super strong leisure zone. Now it's half and half. I got four in the first 30 minutes. Oh really? I did not know about that. The skate park is this. You mean this one right here, right? But I mean, they are pretty cheap. It's only 4,000. So, I don't know. I normally go for like uh, a volleyball court. And also Japanese garden. Or even like cat parks and stuff. It was super good pre-update. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I go for like Japanese garden as well. Because they are like small. And they do good, great actually. Like, literally, they're pretty good. They're not that expensive. Like, look at that. Oh, wait, okay. This is not enough. <laughs> Let me put, like, a volleyball course on this area right here. That should be enough for this entire area. There we go. Perfect. How is the office doing? Seems like it's doing great. Let's take a look. Yes, it's actually doing great. So let's start removing some of this uh, industrial zones so we can replace with office. Yeah, like that. This should be enough area. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And let's also do the exact same thing up here. There we go. Perfect. Nice. So now we can have a little bit more um, office zones, which is great. Let's, let me even go and start putting down some more residential zones, because we do have the demand. Let's go for that. Man, yeah, let's actually go all the way to the end right here. Yeah, like this. That should be enough for the demand that we have right now. I mean, I guess so. Maybe we can even put down some more on this side right here. 
so we can uh, take the advantage from those parks because I mean the lens is going to be a little bit uh, higher how are you liking the terraform tool I mean it's pretty great uh, it could be better I mean I think it's sometimes a little bit slow especially like the softening terrain I think it's really really slow for you to just go and make this should be a lot faster you know I don't know could be better but I'm not really going to complain because we didn't have this before <laughs> Because then now at least we do have like the the capacity for us to do this, you know. But we do have like a soil availability, so we can't really change much. So there is that. In the PC, if I'm not mistaken, you don't really have like a, a maximum capacity for it to do that. You can do like how much you want. So there is that. Seems like on this episode we are not going to have any uh tornado only problems with waves <laughs> look at this man this is so weird i know that this is actually coming from the from like the ocean but are you kidding me isn't this a little bit too much be practicing a lot with it oh really did you try to do like um how is how it's called like a I draw power plant with switch with that because now you can actually do it produce power with the <laughs> switch and stuff that's pretty cool to be honest that you can actually do that uh let me take a look okay can like come back here let's expand a little bit more because the demand is so high right now for residential zones it's not even funny. Like seriously. It's so high. Let's also expand a little bit more towards this side. There we go. Let me take a look here about the incineration plants. How they are doing. Uh okay, they are doing like okay. I have been making smoother more realistic interchanges with it. Okay. Yeah, I can see that, that <laughs> as you do love doing that, that kind of stuff, I do understand you. <laughs> I know that you love doing like intersections and stuff. That's really, really like you. Okay, should I go for another one? I think so. Let also change some more industry. Like substitute the industry with some more office there we go so slowly we can actually make only office in the city and then we are also going to have a little bit less traffic with these trucks which in my opinion it's better and we definitely need like to do another exit to be honest and another entrance to this neighborhood because as you can see it's starting to pile up a little bit which is not ideal I mean this intersection is not the greatest, <laughs> definitely not, so that might be the problem here. High density influx, yeah, definitely. It's because of this massive buildings that we are starting to build. So we definitely need to start thinking about doing another intersection, maybe up here. Yeah, I think it would be, it would be completely fine. First to do something up here. Like honestly. We can definitely just go and do just a pre great. Yeah, I'm actually going to do like the one that I normally do now. Just going to take this road. The one that I've just done up here. Because it's easy for it to do and it works super well. So yep. I do believe this is one of the best intersections because it's so easy for it to do and and help us out so much with the traffic then I can just go literally up here and connect this over there there we go so they can actually have like another way to go inside of the city and we probably we need like another exit as well yeah probably <laughs> 
Because as you can see, we're definitely having some traffic issues and stuff. Which we need to figure out how we are going to do this. Let me take a look. Uh, we do have like the way in and over there. We do need to have the way in on the other side of the highway. Like up here. Like over there. So we can just go and take this road. This is going to be a little bit expensive, but I do think we do have the money. Wait a second. That doesn't look good. And I don't think. Uh. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's have it like this. We can just go and do like a curve. Yeah, there we go. Then up here, what we can just basically do, just go and take like a. A six lane road. Just a pre this like this. There we go. Then we can just go and take this highway to connect it to up here. There we go. That works. That might not be the best, but it's definitely going to work like super well for now at least. I do think they might need they will start using that. Like literally. I mean, I have no idea why they wouldn't do <laughs> actually start taking this exit. No, uh, let me think here. I do need another exit. I mean, this one is doing fine, but I do believe it's time for us to do that. I mean, I could literally take like an exit from here and connect this to the highway. I think we should be completely fine by doing that. I just need to figure out where I'm going to connect this. I mean, I guess that works. Yeah. Let's try to do this. You're probably going to delete a few buildings, but that is fine. Now we have like another exit, which is probably going to be much, much better. Because... They don't need to go on this runabout, which is the one that came with the city. I think we should be pretty fine with this exit over here. I don't believe this would cause some traffic. Not really. I mean, it's a little bit close to this intersection. But I think we should be fine. Like, honestly. I don't see a reason why this would be a problem. Not right now, at least. We could have like another exit from here to connect up here as well. We can take like a ramp. Wait a second. A curved. Can we actually do it? That's the real question. We can take like a curve from there. Do this. And perfect. There we go. So they can also go a little bit faster to get inside of the, the neighborhood again. If they so need. Or if they also need to go towards this side here as well. Yeah, as you can see there are some of them are actually taking that exit. Which is pretty good. Because that means we are going to have way less traffic around this roundabout. Okay, we are starting to gather some money. Which is pretty good. Let me take a look here. Okay, we can't really pay this just yet. And we still don't have enough money for us to start using helicopters. Helicopter depot. Which I... It might be the best one. <laughs> like, seriously. It might be the best one. But it costs how much? 9k. So it's definitely going to take a while for us to be able to substitute that. Okay, nice. We definitely have them working here. Hey, Wells Not, thank you so much for following. What is the number it stands for? 241763. Is that like because you couldn't put it just Wells Not? I don't believe so. I mean, that would be massive to have like. 
241,763 people using Wales Night. <laughs> I love your city. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping it was this guy line streaming <laughs> when I saw you were online. <laughs> yeah, it's better than actually playing, um, how can I say it? Um, FIFA 18. People do prefer more City Skylines than actually FIFA 18. Yeah, I can notice that. <laughs> People do love City Skylines way more than FIFA 18. Okay, let me take a look here. Okay, we might want to expand a little bit more. Like, up here. We can do it with high density zones. Yeah, Nightif, now we have high density zones. Yes. The time has come. Now we can actually start doing like some massive stuff. Uh, let me take a look here. Do we need anything else? Okay, I, I want to put down the high-tech housing. But we need 11k people. This ones I normally don't even use. And this ones... This one would be good. But it does cost a lot for us to put down. Recycling. Parks, education boost. I feel... Okay, we can put harsh prison settings. Yeah, definitely. Let's go like this. Okay, now we can actually take the loan. This guy. There we go. Then we can buy, finally, this guy. Yes. I was waiting for this for so long. It's not even funny. <laughs> Let me even just go and add some water for them. There we go. Now we have this guy to help us out to protect the city. How much does... Okay, okay. that's actually not expensive. We might need this because we can have some fire on the forest. But I don't feel like it's time for us to do that. Yeah, not yet. We can uh, stay with this only. Yep. Should be completely fine for now. And we should also be completely fine for an entire city. If only this helicopter place, you know? Yeah, like really. We can also start substituting the commercial zone with high density commercial zone. Yes. I think it's time for us to start doing that as well. As we start to have high density residential zones, it's time for us to also start changing the entire city, you know? Whoa, okay. Look at this house, man. That is massive. This is a low residential zone. Oh, wow. All right. That is pretty cool. That is a massive house. It has like three floors. That's impressive. What console? Oh, I play on Xbox One S. That's the uh, Xbox that I'm playing. This is the Xbox One Edition. I have the mods and everything. Yeah, I have some mods. Let me show you. Where is it? Oh, right here. There we go. You have the <laughs> hamster statue. We have the cat park. Another cat park. We have the football park, which is right here. Okay, they don't really play this. I find this a little bit weird. I was impressed with the mods when they came out. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, the mods and stuff, but... I, I don't even call it this mods. <laughs> because seriously, it's only buildings and parks. So, eh, I don't know. I, I don't believe you can really call them mods. <laughs> This is an extension of mods, uh, of cities and so, uh, of buildings and so. Maybe no mate, it says mods, you need Paradox account. No, no, I do have mods. And I have uh, everything, like... Oh, okay, uh, the else dot was asking, okay. Yeah, that's the way for us to do, Night Thief. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me out. Let's substitute some more uh, in industry. Yeah, uh, Night Thief, I'm actually now substituting the industry with uh, office zones, finally. 
because seriously, <laughs> I don't really like industry and being able to put down office, that's really good. My Xbox name account, it's Alan K B R. It's H A L L A N K B R. That's my gamer tag. If you want to add me. Okay. Let me also put some more residential zones. There we go. Maybe we can just go in even just go into this. That's massive, but that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we, I'm actually taking a look about this. We just need a little bit more of this. And we should be completely fine with generation plants. Is that going to be enough? Oh, that's close. That is really close. Let me actually start emptying this guy. So we can actually uh, delete this in the future, you know? Let me also substitute some more of these office. Say that again, I did not have the my headphones on. Okay. It's Alan K B R. It's H A L L A N K B R. Yeah, there we go. There we go, Night Thief. <laughs> it's a little bit easier for you to, <laughs> to read. I got a comment on my video. One hour video, okay. Did, Javion Binford just comment on my YouTube channel. One hour video, yeah. <laughs> One hour videos. Some people like it, some people don't. I kind of prefer to do it. One hour video, especially on this. Um, how can I say it? On this series, because as we need to reach 150,000 citizens. This is definitely going to take a while. I was talking with that with Night Thief about this. Depends on the game, something like City Skyline needs a lot of time. Yeah, definitely. But I do see some people. Oh, we just got 11,000. Oh, nice, man. Now we can put the high tech housing. Okay, we have the hydro power plant, cargo train terminal. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Train station. We have some really nice stuff. We have the train now open. Some more unique buildings and stuff. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let me just come over here to policies. We can come to city planning and put the high tech housing. There we go. That's really nice, man. I love that. I can even. Uh... Oh, that's not just added me. There we go. I was thinking about like putting the police helicopter depot. Or maybe even this guy. I think this might be the best for the next one. Yeah. I don't know. We do have like the healthcare availability just fine. So I don't know if it's worth for us to go for this one. What do you think, Night T for the Wells not? Couple one is better than police. Yeah. Okay. So let's get the. Okay, so we're almost there. There we go. We just got it. So let's put this right here. So it's going to help us out to. That would be nice for us to have, like a crematorium, but it's a police depot. Ah, helicopter depot. What do you think? That would be nice for for them to collect the. The dead people with the helicopter. I think that would be so nice, man. Would be so much better. Like, seriously. So much better. And I think I'm actually going to put down also this helicopter priority. Yep. So they're going to use mostly the helicopters to, to do stuff. I think that's going to be much, much better. How much helicopters can we have? Okay, three. That's not much. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not much. Half car. Uh, okay. Okay, we have five people on the live stream. That is massive. That is actually a record. <laughs> like honestly, 
I normally guess like one, two, three sometimes. But normally I have uh, Night Thief here with me. I'm going to watch my friends broadcast. Be, be back in a minute, okay? See you later, Elf's Night. Let me take a look here, okay. Yeah, it's definitely getting a lot better, man. Let me even take a look here. Do they have enough people? Yeah, they do have. Nice. I like to view the episode fresh as possible. <laughs> yeah, because this is going to go live on YouTube. I mean, I think in two days. Yeah, because right now I just posted like the first episode, which I recorded like yesterday. And then uh, this one is going to, yeah. Yeah, I think like in two days, it's going to be on YouTube. So if you want to be like, yeah, I give that a watch. Yeah, you saw that, right? I don't know if you watched like the entire episode. No, yeah, I think you just didn't watch like the, f the first minutes, right? If I'm not mistaken. But the rest of you were completely fine. Just to put some more residential zones right there. There we go. And I think I might have forgotten. <laughs> Look at this. This is not even close. I've totally forgotten to expand this. Uh, Dick streak. Alright. Yeah, this is going to change so much. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just forget to do this. Sometimes I need to, to have you guys to help me out with this because I totally forget about this. I'm not even joking. <laughs> And I need to stop saying it, I'm not even joking, like seriously. I keep on saying that, like, all the time. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that, I'm not even joking again. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to stop doing that. There was even, like, a subscriber on YouTube making fun of me. He's saying, like, oh, I'm not even joking. <laughs> He's not even joking, he said. Okay, we are close to being able to put another one of these. And then we can actually turn off the landfills. There we go. Now we can just go and turn this off. Let also turn this one off. And this one off. There we go. That should be enough, right? Yes, it is. I'm not even joking. And seriously, man. Top 5 Alan quotes. <laughs> Do I say also serious, man? Like, all the time? Yeah, I think I do, right? Yeah, I, I think I, I actually do that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I need to sometimes to watch out a little more with that. Uh, oh, and also I, I do f say a lot actually. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I do say a, a lot of actually all the time. Like seriously, man. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, let's substitute some more of these commercial zones with high density zones. Yeah. Because then we can have more people working over there. And... Okay. See you later, Night Thief. I will be serving for like 20 minutes more, I think. Yeah, probably that. Oh, it's so cool to see like the helicopters working, man. Like seriously. It's so nice. Like seriously, it's so cool. Let's take a look here. Okay, 85%. Yeah, it should be fine in a, a little bit. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, we're still having a little bit of traffic over here. I mean, this intersection is not good, to be honest. I feel like this is pretty bad, actually. Yeah, I don't really like this intersection. We're pro I'm probably going to delete this. But we're not right now. Maybe we can, when we get like some more money. Because we do have like the, uh, the going in over here. I can still use this, but I need to change like this roundabout. I need to do this a little bit different. I need to figure out like what is the best way for us to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I might be able to do like going directly to over here. Yeah, taking like this road all the way over there. That's probably going to be a little bit better. Yeah, I do think it is going to be better. I mean, we could literally just do that right now. Oh, what is going on here? 
Why there is like so many fire? Oh wait. Okay, they're putting out the fire now. Okay. No way, man. Are they actually not using like any fire trucks? Is that how how it goes? Oh, hey, wel welcome back, Welsh Knight. Don't they actually use like any fire trucks if we put down like the helicopter priority? I mean, I don't believe they're going to be able to put out all this fire. Like seriously, because this is really crazy. <laughs> I don't know if they will be able to, to deal with this. Yeah, I mean... It's... Okay, this one's fine. This one right here is fine, this one is also fine. This this one. Okay, right on time. How are they actually going to be able to do this, man? I don't know. We probably will need to put like another one of these. Yep. But again, it's going to be 9,000. <laughs> 9,000, <laughs> it's pretty pretty expensive. Let me take a look here. Okay, there is all the tree. It's the weather is very high. What do you mean by that? The weather is very high. Where is the hospital? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, they're not using like any ambulances. Oh, they actually park on the road? Did not know that. <laughs> That's different. Oh yeah. You burned down over here. Yeah, we definitely need like another one of the these helicopter places, you know. Yeah, that one's not being able to keep up if you did them. Okay, let's go and start putting down some more office. Because we do have the demand going on. We can put some more over here. Yeah, like that. There we go. Let's also substitute some more of these. Just like that. I don't know if that is going to be enough. The temperature. Oh, yeah. The temperature is really high. 70, I mean, 72 is not that high. It's high. That probably makes... Mo like... Uh, to catch more on fire. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. Did this actually change? Makes... Like the fire happens more often when it's actually super high. I've never thought of that. That makes sense, actually. It does. Oh, <laughs> because so much of else night. I've never thought of that. That is awesome. It is actually. I I really didn't thought about like putting down like a uh, hydro power pants. Over here, but I was like, "Isn't this going to create like? It's going to create like a lot of power." But I'm thinking about how much like water is going to splash around. You know, probably before we actually put this down, we would need to we would need to have like a like a canal going around here. To make sure the water wouldn't go like to the city and stuff. Yeah, we'll probably need to do that. Because like the water is it's super fast over here. So it makes sense for us to start producing power with that, right? I mean, at least for me it does make sense. Seems like we can actually substitute some more of these industrial zones. Because we do have like a lot of demand. It seems like we, if we don't put more office zones, we're not going to have a residential zones demand. So it seems like it's time for us to go ham here. Not too ham because, I mean, we wa need to watch out for our income. We do have almost 7,000 plus, but, you know, you never know. You never know. I'm really worried about the... How can I say it? What is the name again? The tornado. Because it's been a long time that uh, we don't get striked by anything. So I'm really scared what is going to happen next. 
I just needed to put this down because we are having like a death wave. And definitely this cemetery is not going to be able to keep up with that. <laughs> Have like another one up here. It's definitely going to help us out. Let me take a look. Oh yes. Look at that. And you do have like enough people working here. Which is good. Look at that. Yes. That is nice, man. That is really nice to see that people actually want to work around there. Let's just substitute some more places. Just like that. So slowly we are going to be able to substitute all of this. I believe by the end of this episode, we are going to be able to do that. Like honestly. I think we should be completely fine. Okay, we are starting to have some abandoned buildings. Which is not ideal. Probably because of these guys here. Yeah. It's probably because of that. We can even also substitute this place over here. There we go. Oh yes, now we have the money. First you put down like another one of these. Let's just go and do this right now. There we go. So you can help us out. If you move. Also not 24 might be late in response. Temperature isn't that hot. It's only 25 degrees translated. Yeah. Translated is actually not that much. Yeah, it was 75. 75, it's not that much. If it was like 100 for a night, I think we would have some problem. Yeah, like literally. That's really high. One, 100. 100, 110. That's pretty high. So do you measure Fahrenheit in Brazil? No, I actually don't. I measure uh, on Celsius. But as mainly of the people who watch me on YouTube are from United States, that's why I have for an, uh, yeah, Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> Fahrenheit, Fortnite. Sounds about the same. <laughs> but that's why I use uh, Fortnite. Oh yeah, only US I have found that use it too. Yeah, only US. Because you know, they would like to be the different. The different guys. They don't like to be the same as the other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's basically the only explanation that I can find. For them to use that. Like literally, doesn't make sense at all. But anyways, I, oh, I, if I'm not mistaken, they are the only one that uses uh, miles per hour as well. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Which I, again, I don't know why they want to use uh, miles per hour. Like be the only ones. I don't know why, but my car here in Brazil, it also has miles per hour. But also kilometers per hour, has both the, the speedometer. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. Look at this. Hopefully the pollution is going to start going away. Oh, UK actually used miles per hour? I did not know that. Oh, really? Okay. That's pretty cool. That I also use like my miles per hour here on the game. I mean, I think this game doesn't even have anything about my miles per hour. Maybe like the wind. Let me take a look here. Uh, no, it doesn't say. It doesn't say the speed. Only the estimated power. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like we can actually see like the wind speed. Maybe over here. Nah, it still doesn't say. It only shows like the difference on the color. Yeah, it doesn't say. It only says that if you're strong or awake. Okay, we do have a lot, like a lot of people sick up here. Is the helicopter not being able to collect all of them? Is that what's like? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, a great place for you to park, man. Definitely. Yeah.
that's definitely a really good place for it to park. <laughs> yeah, right on top of the car. <laughs> okay, seems like the death wave has been provides that overcome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's substitute some more office. Then on this side, we are going to be fine. Yeah, that's the only uh, industrial zone that we have in the entire city, basically. Yeah, we have 14 <laughs> highly educated people working here. Wow, all right. And the 11 well-educated people. We do have like some over-educated people working on these places. I mean, soon they will be able to work only on office. Which is great. But I also need to upgrade this office. Because as you can see, they are definitely not looking great. So let me do that right now, actually. Let's also put this right there. Let's make this area a little bit more nicer. Can I substitute this? There we go. Perfect. I might need to put like another one up here. We can go for like a volleyball course, just to change a little. There we go. Uh, still not perfect. So let's have a, like another one over there. We can also have some more up here. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's still not enough. Yeah, let's put another one right there. Is that gonna be enough? Let me take a look here. Yeah, let's have like another cat park. Yeah, that's definitely looking a lot better, man. Look at that. Way better than it was before. Now we have the parks. Yeah, this side is also not looking great. You could have... Up here. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, that's definitely more than enough. Look at that. Nice. This is definitely going great now, man. Definitely going great. I'm just going to delete those abandoned buildings. And now we can start going for this side of the industrial zone. And then uh, we are going to be fine. Like seriously, this entire area will be only office and we are going to be in the industry free which is what I love like honestly yes look at that now we are industry free boys that is what I was expecting what I was waiting for this entire time I'm still worried about the, the natural disaster man it's been more than one hour that nothing happens only this water over here i mean even the water here is a little bit more calm so i don't know how to feel about this like honestly i don't know how to feel about this and the traffic is also doing a little bit better over here which you might want to change that up should i do it that way right now i mean it could let me just go and move these guys. I'm going to put you over here, but I'm going to definitely put you somewhere else, not over there. Because <laughs> that's definitely not a good place. Could you. I could have you, like, up here. Let me take a look. I mean, over there it works. Yeah, definitely. Then let's start deleting this. So we can change this up. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we definitely have some more stuff for us to change here. Hopefully we do have like enough money. Because that would not be fun. If we actually weren't out of money now. <laughs> Let me take a look. Okay, we need to take this highway. Connect this right there. And this highway. Connect this right there. There we go. 
exactly what I wanted. Like, honestly. And then, before I actually do that, I'm just going to take this road and connect this over there. Then we can actually just go and delete this part. This as well. Because we don't actually need this anymore. And... There we go. Now I just need to move this, guys. Okay, over here. Let me just go and put this guy right here. Can have like another one facing like this. There we go. We can change this up by putting one like. Let me see. Yeah, let's put this right there. There we go. That works. And then we have like another one. The last one. Okay, we don't have enough money to do that. <laughs> so well, I guess it's going to stay over there. Just enough for us to get the, the money. I feel like that should be much, much better for traffic. Like seriously. I think it should be completely fine. Okay, let's change this up. I could even just go and put this down over here. You should be able to cover like a lot of stuff. Mm, I don't know. I don't know where to put this. Yeah, let's put this right here. I feel like we should be fine. Then let's just give the water to that police department. There we go. Perfect. I feel like this is going to be much, much better for traffic. Like, honestly. I... Yeah. As you can see, it's definitely a lot better right now. Are we actually going to be able to remove all the this land view as well? Because that's what I wanted to do. That's basically what we need to do left. What about this guy right here? Okay, 50%. Okay, 18. Let's put this guy to empty. I think I need to turn this on to do it. There we go, perfect. Now he's actually doing it. Which is pretty cool. I think for today is going to be it, guys. I mean, I'm going to actually have lunch now because it's like uh, midday. So <laughs> it's time for me to do that. So yeah, guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions, put down in the comments. So we can do the next. In the next episode. Oh, oh, currently cooking my dinner. Oh, really? Dinner? What time is that, uh, Night Thief? Dinner? <laughs> Because right now it's midday over here, so there's like 6 p.m. Oh, 4:30. Dinner at 4:30. All right, that's that's different because n normally here in Brazil we have dinner at I don't know 8 p.m. Yeah, normally 8 p.m., 10 p.m. Some even. <laughs> so different from over the. I mean, I will have it later. Just preparing it. Oh, okay, okay. But anyways, uh, thanks so much for you guys that are here watching this with me, helping me out to build the city. Now it's looking amazing, especially because now we don't have any industry. That means we are going to have a little bit less traffic with trucks, a little bit more traffic with, with the goods being delivered. But I'm okay with that, if we do like a really well road design. But anyways, if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to so receive a notification when I post a new video. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.